Hi everyone. The topic is what are matter waves and the properties of matter waves. The waves associated with a material particle are called matter waves. The material particles may be atoms, protons, neutrons, electrons, etc. These matter waves are not electromagnetic waves because electromagnetic waves are produced due to the motion of the charged particles but the matter waves are associated with the charged or uncharged moving particles. Here particles exact position cannot be located while it is moving whereas the likelihood of the locality of the particle in space time can be represented by the matter wave. Here Based on the de Broglie hypothesis or de Broglie hypothesis, the de Broglie wavelength or de Broglie wavelength lambda is equal to h by mv, where h is Planck's constant, m is the mass of the moving particle, v is the velocity of the particle. Since in this formula mv is in the denominator, they are inversely proportional to each other. Therefore, when mass of the particle is increasing, lambda will be decreasing. Similarly, when the mass of the particle, if it is decreasing, then lambda will be increasing. So, velocity will also, if it is at a higher value, then lambda will be of a lower value and vice versa. The velocity of matter waves are greater than the velocity of light. Now, the topic is physical significance or physical interpretation or importance of wave function psi. In quantum mechanics, wave function plays an important role. The wave function relates the particle and wave statistically. It is represented by the formula psi is equal to psi naught e power minus i omega t, where psi can be taken as x, y, z, the three coordinate axes with, rep with respect to time and psi naught is x, y, z, the position only and this e power minus i omega t represents the time factor. Psi is a variable quantity and it is a complex quantity. Psi does not have any physical meaning but mod psi square, modulus of psi square which is equal to psi star psi has physical meaning. Modulus of psi square represents the probability of finding the particle in the given volume. The triple integral mod psi square d tau is the representation for the probability of finding the particle in a three dimensional space where d tau is dx, dy, dz. If it is for one dimension the probability of finding a particle in one dimension can be represented by single integral modulus of psi square dx only. Here d tau dx dy d is a three dimension. dx is meant for only one dimension. Here x axis is considered. That is one dimension x is considered. The probability value ranges between 0 to 1. If the probability value is equal to 1, then it represents 100 percentage the particle is present in the given volume. This formula is called as normalized wave function. If single integral mod psi square dx is equal to 0 or triple integral mod psi square d tau is equal to 0, it represents the particle is absent in the given volume. The particle is not present in the volume. These are the physical interpretation or physical significance of wave function psi.